Yeah, what's going on? This one, I want to talk about solutions. Why do I want to talk about solutions? Because uh, obviously, if I'm doing all this talking, I should have some solutions. Which I do. <clears throat> and I noticed that, uh, you know, as I watch some people's videos, it's like they they say they, they're listening to everybody. It sounds like they they. they stealing a lot I won't say stealing just to say that they're, they're uh, using a lot of my talking points and um, critiquing some others I won't call out any names but if you watch videos like I watch them you know who they are and if you've seen them do presentations before and they didn't mention something that I mentioned and now all of a sudden they're putting it in theirs. Now you know who they got it from. I'm not going to say anything, you know, because Alquan's name isn't large. So, like I said before, when you have a big enough name or, or a popular name, that's when people want to say, oh, I got it from Alquan. But in the meantime, people just say, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I heard that. Let me go research that. And then they act like... Uh, they knew it all along. They don't want to give it up to the source. So, that's why I don't say everything. That's why I told you my ultimate game plan. You can't tell everybody everything. That's why I don't even want to tell anybody too much of what the game plan is. Because I know black people can't keep their mouth shut. No matter what. So when it comes to solutions... You know, I watched the video. <sighs> a man was uh, critiquing my solutions. And uh, let's just say, I get concerned when people, you know how I feel about the Pan-African stuff and what their motives are. So I get extremely concerned because you notice how you have different Pan-Africans. I'm not about to get into a Pan-African rant. Even though it might sound like I might. But you know how you have Pan-Africans who are on the street level and those in the university level? As I've said before, the ones in the university and the ones in the street, for that matter, who ha have college education, you notice how they, they want to keep trying to get you to go to war with the white man or tell you to go to Africa for what but they never want to tell you go get an education like I did if the degree is good enough for you how come it's not good enough for anybody else how come you, you, you it's, it's like they want to keep and I hope you're listening see right now we, we're, in a, we're in a cold war phase right now and, and we can get it hot but I like you but we can get it hot and I'm not I'm not going to give anybody any hints if you know who I'm talking about you can figure it out for yourselves and you may not believe who it is, but this is Cold War phase or pre-Cold War phase. But again, these people claim to have some college education. Others have college educations. Others have PhDs. But they tell you that getting a college degree, getting education is equivalent to getting trained by the white man to become a slave of the white man. So that's a waste of time, that's what they say. My God. <laughs> I mean, how is getting educated a waste of time? Especially when a lot of these people who are doing this talking had some kind of college before. So were they wasting their time? And they don't want you to waste yours? I mean, come on. You know, this is getting really ridiculous. It's like they're playing the role of the slave master to keep the slaves stupid. Stop the, the slaves from reading. Stop the slaves from gaining any knowledge other than what they tell them. That's what creates a slave. And that's what the Freemasons try to do. So... These people, they offer no solutions. 
what they do is they offer their solution, the Pan-African solution is to go to Africa. Why would you want to go to Africa? Like I said, that's the equivalent of running away and hiding in a corner. Being a bitch. That's what that that's the equivalent of running away is. You confront the shit head on. That's what I do. I like to confront shit head on. I'm not gonna lie, I used to be the type to wanna run. You know, run. But then I learned once you arrest your fears and face it head on, it's better, even if you lose. I mean, how many times have anybody had a fight in school, even if you lost, you still got respect because you fought, as opposed to crying and talking about, oh, don't hit me, don't touch me. Nobody respects the coward, but they re respect somebody who's willing to fight. I remember I had tried to be a bully sometimes, you know. I expected everybody to run, but I guess I wasn't intimidating enough, I guess. But <laughs> but they didn't win, but I did respect the guys who fought back. Because I said, damn, they ain't, they ain't about to be, you know, let somebody just do it to them like that, you know? So I respect that. People respect when you fight back. They don't respect when you just cower away, scream and yell. Because when people talk about, we got to kill the white man, we got to take him to war. And all that kind of stuff. And um, screaming, yelling, looking tough, s sounding tough. But ultimately, you're not going to do anything. See, that's the equivalent of saying, don't hit me. Ooh, don't hit me. Because you're scared. That's, why, that's number one. You're scared. And uh, so you want to at least express your displeasure by screaming and yelling. And of course, there are some who are terrified. That's beyond scared. You terrify you, you you don't even have the words to come up with. But see, here's the contradiction. And I'm gonna get to my solutions. And you, I mean, if you watch my videos before, you already heard my solutions. And one of them I'm talking about now is the education part. You need to be educated. Like I said, you can't be led by weed smokers, uh, uh, people who want to stay out and drink and do nothing. I mean, those people, those are your soldiers. Those aren't your leaders. Any movement, whether it's controlled by the white man or not, I told you. All you have to do is do the knowledge. They've all been college educated or were in college of some kind. That includes a Fidel Castro, Fred Hampton, whoever you could think of. I know you might say, well, Malcolm X didn't, but technically he, he, you know, he was smart in classes, but, you know, he went through that Freemason uh, Nation of Islam training. And he was, and truth be told, he was exceptional because he actually studied on his own. Instead of just taking exactly what the nation of Islam gave him. So, that's why he was able to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody in any university in the world. And unfortunately, Uncle Tom House niggas like uh, Farrakhan, you know, they like to take these guys out, help the white man take them out. So, that, that goes to show where their loyalty is at. Which is why I keep calling them out. And the guilty say... You're hating. Well, call it what you want to call it. But prove me wrong. That, that, that's what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for somebody to prove me wrong. <laughs> you can call me coon, hater, whatever, anti-black, divisive, whatever you want to call me. But prove me wrong. So, education is important. It doesn't matter... If you're in somebody else's society, because let's face the facts, whether you dropped out of middle school, high school, or whatever, all of us went through this system at some point in time. Unless you were fortunate enough to go to private schools, you know, then you learn some extra stuff, how to maneuver in this world. You don't learn those things in public school unless you get certain teachers, like some of the most important teachers I had in public school, they were the uh, substitute teachers. 
And, you know, it's kind of weird, man, but the substitute teachers taught me more vital information in there, what, one week or even a couple of days that they were there than a lot of the regular teachers did. One substitute teacher, he taught me to get rid of unnecessary words like, nah, I mean, yeah, man, all that kind of shit. And, and, and that too, curse words. Because he says, you know, and that too, you know, too. You got to get rid of it, all that. Take all that out of your vocabulary. It's all right for me to do it here, but, you know, when you're in a formal setting, get rid of them. Because when you get rid of them, then you sound intelligent. When you have them, it sounds like you don't know what the hell you're saying. So you substitute words or phrases uh, with moments of uh, memory loss, so to speak. So that was an important thing. And damn, I forgot the other thing that the a substitute teacher taught me. But it had it pertained to life as a black man, which was valuable. I don't know whatever happened to any of those guys. I don't know if they became full time or what. But sometimes those substitute teachers can be very valuable. So we've all been educated through this system. So I think it's idiotic for somebody to tell you don't get educated through higher education in this system. Again, I keep telling you about the East Indian, the Asians. God damn. I'm telling you, I just overheard one today. Talking about he's down with the, the WWE and he's putting the, what is it, the XFL helping them put the XFL together. I'm like, damn. And this was a Sikh guy. I'm like, damn, these, these guys getting all these jobs, getting all these cozy jobs. They said, Vince McMahon's putting up a half a billion dollars. I overheard this. Yeah, I could talk about it. I, hey, I ain't sworn to nothing. Said he, uh, Vince McMahon is putting up a half a billion dollars for this XFL and they trying to do it right. And he said something about trying to detach themselves from the WWE to make it more legit. Uh, I'm like, how did this guy get this job? You know, these guys, the types of people that the white man says he has issues with, apparently, you know, he has no issues with these people, man. I mean... They're getting all the good jobs. How do they get the jobs? By being educated through college. Black people, you want a ghetto education on the street with that Freemason craziness? Then all only jobs you're going to get are those off-the-grid con jobs like Brother Polite and all these uh, Phil Valentine, all these off-the-grid jobs where you're going to have to be teaching people uh, classes and shit. <laughs> Teaching people classes. And uh, I gotta make sure that shit's still going on. Uh, damn phone call coming. I wonder if that gets heard on the playback. But um, they teach people classes. Talking about Mike, like Michael M. Ho M. Hotep. Oh yeah, you could take my classes for this amount of money. Trying to make money, you teaching the class or what, man? Some bullshit class that doesn't do anything, you can't turn it into a college credit. All you're doing is just like Boyce Watkins, like I said before, man. All you're doing is taking people's money, poor black people's money, or black people with money who aren't official, and you're giving them nothing. These are the people who are helping to keep black people in the condition that black people as a group are in. The ones with the money aren't doing anything, and the ones without are trying to take. And they don't give a damn about the next black man. And, and, and again, you add the foreign black element into it, which is very important. People think that it's hating just to hate, man. I'm telling you, man, it's very important. And um, that's a part of the people who are using us and abusing us. And the ones who claim to love us they, they reject education, higher education, for other people, other black people, even though they had some higher education themselves. 
I mean, come on. Why would you get something and you don't want somebody else to have? You felt that it was important enough for you that you took the time to register, took the time to, if you had to apply for financial aid or pay for it, you however you did it. I'm not trying to be funny because I have financial aid my damn self. You know, all that stuff takes time. Then going to the classes, that takes time. So, <laughs> you were clearly dedicated to doing that, but you don't want other black people to do it. You don't think black people can do it? I mean, come on. So this is why I got to ask, man, who are these people working for? Well, we have clues to who they're working for. Because the source is... Uh, ultimately comes back to Dr. Ben which ultimately goes back to Freemasonry uh huh matter of fact that's a good segue into education Freemasonry in ancient Egypt <clears throat> to build those pyramids to make a large massive scale pyramid perfect on all sides. Was it 4,000 years ago where white man wants to convince you that everybody was totally primitive, but in order to do that 4,000 years ago, people couldn't have been primitive. You, you gotta keep in mind, there are stone structures that still stand, and then, the, then there were a whole bunch of stone structures that fell for one reason or another. Before stone structures, I'm sure you had mud structures that were probably very elaborate. And they fell or got ruined. And before that, structures made out of compost, you know, mixed uh, stuff, including uh, vegetation, woods, twigs, and all that kind of stuff. I mean, you still see people in Europe and in Africa, South America, who make huts, nice huts out of uh, trees and stuff. They don't last thousands of years. That's why you see some places you can see the remnants of wooden structures. You know, when Romans or anybody else would invade, you see them in the movies, they burn down the villages. Even the stone structures, they would burn them down uh, when possible or take them over or knock them down. You know, they do that because they want to say, hey, man, we just took your land. We want to erase all memory of you. This is us now. That's where the brainwashing starts. But my point is, in order to build those pyramids, in order to build anything in ancient Egypt, you needed to know math. You needed to be educated. I don't want to hear about education in some damn mystery schools. That's a you want to call that a higher degree, degree of <clears throat> education. You can do that. But the point is, you needed to be educated. You couldn't be an idiot and not know math, not know how to read, and engineer all these things. See, those were engineers. So now what we're seeing today is we're seeing Asians, Indians, even so-called Arabs and a few Brazilians and so-called Latinos, along with whites, headed by Jews, of course. They're excelling in the engineering field. All types of engineering. Look at photographs of them. I mean... <laughs> It's to the point now where a white man wants or needs an Asian. And they seem to have a preference for Mongol style Asians first. Could be a skin color thing, or could be because they're intrigued at what they've been able to do. To, uh, what they've been able to do uh, since colonialism. And how crafty they are regardless of the odds because I keep saying this you take the Asian the Mongol style Asian away 
you take them off the map. So you can put them down all you want to. But you take them off the map. Who else on this planet can handle the white man in a military conflict? If you take the Asian away. Nobody else. So the Asians are doing what they need to do. And if all their maneuvering around the globe means anything, it means that they didn't forget. That's what the hell it must mean. So I think the white man keeps all these people close because it's that old adage, keep your uh, friends close and your enemies even closer so they can know what they're doing. It's the same way uh, where they invite all foreigners from different countries to live the American dream. Because the America, American uh, government, they want to portray an image that they're nice to other people's citizens where they have diplomatic ties to. You know, they don't want to uh, bring people from India, China, any country and say, hey, man, they come here, they get beaten and oppressed. Uh, the United States, oh, man, man, you, you're no good. You know, the United States is supposed to accuse other countries of doing that kind of thing. The United States is supposed to be about freedom, except for black Americans of course so these people pursue their American dream they're allowed to by the white man and education is key Caribbeans get educated Africans get educated I hate to say it but the only ones who are kind of slacking <clears throat> I mean, you can't really group them all, I guess, but the so-called Latinos, they slack up a little bit, you know, but again, you know, they're mixed race people, they're, you know, it's, it's hard to really group them all together. The only thing they really have in common is being mixed and speaking Spanish. I mean, that's, that's, that's it. Truth be told. But even some of them, they do get educated in the engineering field. A lot, I think it's mainly a lot of the Brazilians. But you'll find a lot of these people already come from privileged lifestyles. So, you know, those are easy. It's easier for those kind of people to build than it is for, for someone from the gutter to build. That's why you find the people from the gutter, they're usually entertainers and athletes. You know? Because... They figure that's the only way out. So let's 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 re-examine things to to the critics, to the pro-blacks who say that education is a waste of time for black people, and the best thing to do is either go to Africa or start preparing to go to war with the white man. Well. First of all, Africans can't do nothing on their own any any damn way. Number two, it takes education to go to war with anyone. You could be aggressive and be stupid, but in order to go to war with someone and actually try to win, you need to be educated. Vietnam. That's always a prime example of... I don't want to say ill-equipped, or let's just say under-equipped forces fighting powers, fighting uh, colonial powers, the white man. Because again, the Vietnamese, they beat the French. Then the white man from the United States said, we got to come in and, and, and sure up white power. Some people might call it white supremacy, whatever you want to call it. That's another thing someone also criticized because I don't say black power. Hey, I told you I need to see black power. And then I'll say it. I'm like I, I I'm just the type. I don't like shouting out I'm not like the Rex Ryan type of guy. You know, I'm not I, I hate to shout out things that can't come to fruition. I don't want to say, hey man, even though our quarterback is Mark Shan Sanchez, we're gonna win a Super Bowl. I, I can't do that. You know? I like thinking realistically. You know, lying and all that kind of stuff. I just can't do it. So I need to see black power. So 
Again, education is key. Whatever job you get, you have to be educated, which is also known as training. No matter what job it is, whether it's working a cash register or working at a store, you need education, which is training. You can't just say, I want to be a cashier at Walmart. And I'm not trying to be funny. I'm just throwing that out there. You can't say that and then say, well, I'll just jump right into it and figure it out as I go along. It's not going to work that way. You can't say, I want to go to war with the white man. He has his training apparatus set up. And you think you're going to, first of all, you, you probably won't even be able to get five guys to go along with you. See, because you got to pay people. You think people join the military because they not get because uh, they just want to fight for freedom? They, they join the military because they're getting paid. I mean, come on, that's the same. One of the main reasons people join gangs is because they want to get paid selling drugs. I mean, come on. And you have to train people. It, it costs money to train. Weapons cost money. So that's the thing, man. If you don't have any money, you don't have any education. What can you do? I mean, come on. Weapons cost money. And if you don't even know how to make a weapon, how are you going to operate one? This is what I'm saying, man. This is a bunch of uh, craziness. As I'm speaking, <clears throat> this is off topic, but people talking about swirling. Here's a black woman, someone to call a bed witch, and white dude but you know dark skin of course the the trend continues but I don't like I don't like calling them uh, bed winches because nobody seems to want to call <laughs> the black males with the white women house niggas and uncle toms you know call them all a name so anyways <clears throat> you need education right now sitting in a car if you how can you go to war with somebody if you can't even design and build a car now if you do like me and you take apart cars and you know work on them modify them you'll see that once you start removing the facade of the car there's not really too much to it you know the main part is the engine the frame and the axles and the wheels and all that kind of stuff those are the main parts steering wheel everything else is complimentary so for Negroes to beat into black people's head I know that's part of their core audience the uneducated and the undereducated well why do you want to tell these people education you can forget about that and these same black people say hey I want a job I need a job and then what do they one of these guys make excuses for they say well black guys with co college education even Yvette Carnell she's college educated too but see her job is getting that money off of YouTube and breaking brown, brown donations you know you can go to breaking brown, brown page donate donate here donate patreon donate there donate super chat even though they don't really like telling you to donate on super chat because you know, they don't really want to make it look like they want the money on Super Chat. Well, like I said before, you got to fill out a form. First of all, before you even go to the Super Chat to fill it out, you got to know what the hell it is. You got to be looking into it. You know, that's the first thing. <laughs> because YouTube, they don't necessarily advertise it to you. They don't say, hey, here's some Super Chat. You got to want that and go investigate it. So don't fall for that trick that anybody does not know what the hell a super chat is they know exactly what it is because they sought it out but um so these guys man they they tell the their audience don't go get educated because you're a slave to the white man but they're trying to make new slaves or keep people slaves because they don't want them to get educated and they say, hey, man, black people with college degrees are unemployed. 
You're wasting your money. You're going in debt. Well, let me tell you this, man. That's true. And that's because we don't have a goddamn apparatus to ensure that once we get educated, we hire our own people as the priority. Now, I know you're going to have some black people like, well, I'm about the money. I want to hire the best I can I can get. I don't care who it is. And for me, I'm black, so the best has to be somebody who's not black. Hey, I'm sure you can find a whole lot of black people who are doing their thing that you can hire if you really wanted to. But that's my whole goal. And I'm not giving out the details because I see, I hear, I see, I watch people biting my style. And I told you, people, agents want to control a particular situation for those who are not agents. They have to take command, take control so they can lead the way. And that's what I'm trying to prevent because I've studied this for years and years and years. That's why I know the solution that we need. And that's why I say <clears throat> the interim solution. And what, what I mean by that is you don't need my guidance. That's what I mean. You don't need anybody's guidance to do this. All you got to do is leave the drugs alone get a college degree of some kind even from a lowly university but you don't have to go to like DeVry and all that because those are overpriced and they'll take anybody they just want the money overpriced with prices like Yale and the degree is not well respected as far as I know that's why they advertise on daytime TV where people are unemployed watching Maury Povich Jerry Springer, all that kind of foolishness. Black exploitation. Um, but you can go online, take online courses at any accredited university. As long as it's accredited. There are some, you know, you can start with state universities, some state universities from different states that you probably would never go to. And then there are some way down on the list, you know, like I say, man, not everybody is going to qualify for the best universities, but take it from me, try to get the best that you can get. <clears throat> because when people, employers do look at your resumes, they do, hate, it's sad to say, but they do look at your university. And the bigger the name, along with the degree type, then they're like, okay, we gotta we gotta check this person out, you know? And when I was going to universities, they were telling us where the school ranked. Academically, the school wasn't ranked that high. It was it was mid-level. But when it came to the name of the school, it was ranked high because that school, that university put a lot of money into making a name for themselves. And then there are others that are ranked high and they have a name. And then there are others that are ranked high but the general public, they don't know the names. I mean, sometimes when I go around, drive around, I see private schools. The average person doesn't know what these private schools are about. Private schools... I'm talking about, you know, like elementary schools or high schools. They might cost 60000 a year, 25000 a year. But people who are preparing their kids for a well-rounded education and lifestyle, what they're doing is they're um, sending them to these private schools. Because colleges and universities, they'll, they'll probably accept people coming from a private school before anybody else because number one it says that you have a little bit of money if you have enough to pay 60000 a year for a private school then your family must be about something and they assume that the education is exceptional and they assume that you're well disciplined and that you'll go well within their university system and depending on the college 
Hell, you, your private school may have more prestige than the university that you might get into, you know? And for that reason alone, they might take you. Because they figure, okay, you're you going to uh, step our game up. You know? That's how it works. But again, when a lot of us are coming from urban ghetto environments, our parents are largely irresponsible or ignorant. And we can't afford these uh, private schools. So, a lot of us left to fend on our own and figure things out on our own. Trust me. Don't listen to these knucklehead, pan-African guys, pro-black guys, people who claim to love black people, and they're telling you, don't go to college. That's the dumbest information that they can tell you. Because when you don't go to a university... What you're saying is you want to drop out of society and be like these guys. That's what they want you to do. But they went to college themselves. See, again, look and listen to the message that these people are trying to send to you versus what it is that they did for themselves. And you got to ask yourselves the question, how come they don't want for me what they got for themselves? I mean, it's like when you're a child, you know, your parents might eat a steak dinner and they'll buy you a McDonald's Happy Meal. And you're saying to yourself, well, I'm not sure if I really want the steak or even like the steak, but they're eating the steak. So and I got a Happy Meal. So that steak dinner must be better than what I got. How come I can't get it? And usually the answer is. You're too young. But the real answer is shit costs too much. <laughs> I mean, and you're not going to appreciate it. That's the real answer. So, again, how come these guys don't want you to appreciate, they don't want you to appreciate a college education like they have appreciated one? I mean, they're trying to teach you. So, if they didn't get college educated, how are they teaching you? Why would they want to teach you? Now, you got people who didn't go to college trying to educate people. All they're doing is copying what they heard from these guys. And some of these guys still say, listen, don't go to college because they heard these guys say it. And, and in the back of their minds, they're like, I can't hang in college anyways. So that's a good reason for people not to go to college. I don't think people should do that. Black people do that a lot. Well, if I can't get it, then, you know, maybe uh, this other person, they don't need to go to college either. So hopefully, you know, they'll be in the same position I'm in, you know. And then when you have a college education, they want to make excuses for you. Well, you got to pay it back. Well, black people don't have a good job. People without the college degrees have better jobs. Well, they learned to trade. And a lot of them ended up going into business for themselves because a lot of people with college degrees, depending on the degree type, they're like, man, shit, I want the college to work in the office. I didn't go to become an electrician, even though you can start your little plumbing business, electrician uh, business, and you can actually make a whole lot of money. But a lot of times those people fall flat without the education because... When it comes to marketing and pricing, that's where they fall flat. They have to get up and go. They know how to put it together. They know how to get their license. And some of them can even drum up business. But they can't maximize it. You know? So you need an education. And I say shame on these guys trying to tell you not to get one. Because that's one of the solutions. Get off. <sighs> Damn. That's one of the solutions. Get off the weed. Get off the drugs, the coke, even the alcohol, because alcohol costs a lot of money. So anybody, that's, the, that's what I could never understand. Poor people in the ghetto used to always complain about money. I never drank. But then when I but when I went to a liquor store with a woman 
and I saw the prices of the liquor, even the cheap stuff, I said, damn. So no wonder why people own in liquor stores. Shit, making a whole lot of money. But I'm like, damn, the shit costs so much money. If you just stop drinking and drugging, I mean, think about how much money you could have. I mean, that's why that's where most of the uh, black people's money is going. Drinking and drugging. Whole waste of time. So if you got rid of the drugs, got your education, <clears throat> we could be on our way. That's the interim goal. Those are the things you could do to help yourselves. And you don't have to wait for a Messiah to come around and instruct you. But don't wait for a demon to come around. And no, I don't believe in demons. So I'm just using that as a phrase. Don't wait for a demon to come around and tell you not to get educated. To me, that's somebody that's looking to hurt you, not help you. Why would they tell you to not get educated while everybody else is getting educated? East Indians, I keep telling you, East Indians, Asians, they PhDs, that's a rite of passage for them. I mean, come on. Black people graduating high school. Oh, my baby graduated high school. What you gonna do? Join the military. You know, get a government job. That's not really doing anything for you. Now, you want to talk about, I know some people are going to be mad, but I'm just saying. You want to talk about helping white supremacy out, that's joining the military. And sacrificing your life. That's helping white supremacy out. But getting a college degree. See, again, you can get a college degree. Learn what you learn in college, but that doesn't mean that that's where you have to be restricted in your knowledge. Because like I said, I was going through college. I learned what I learned. But usually after the semester was over and I analyzed and reviewed everything that I had learned, I learned more <laughs> because I had to analyze. I mean, basically in college, you get in the crash course and stuff. Be honest with you, because what is it like three months or something like that per semester? You're getting a crash course. And you have to concentrate on different uh, classes each semester. Generally, uh, tr uh, 12 credits is uh, what most people can handle. You can kind of mix and match some bullshit electives for uh, your bachelor's if you want to. And that'll uh, allow you to get a few more credits, but... You know, one semester, but you gotta gotta get educated. There's no way around it. You say everybody around you be foreigner, whether they're black, black Asian, white, white Asian. They come in here, they're getting educated. And like I said, I don't like the stereotypes of the black man because the stereotypes of the black man is we're stupid, we're lazy. We're, we're on drugs, we're alcoholics. And anytime somebody rides around the ghetto, that's what you see. And I get embarrassed and humiliated for these people and for myself because I know that when other people see these people, they're thinking about all of us. That's why you have some black people who try to go overboard and try to sound white, act white, dress white, everything. Just to detach themselves from that image. And those people are usually people who are not black Americans, by the way. Uh, <laughs> but um, we got to get educated. Don't listen to these fools that say, don't get educated. You know, because once we get the degrees and the right things, by the way. But like I said, these engineering jobs at computer places and everything they're going up these indians and asians they're making sure they secure their people in these jobs so we're gonna have some problems now i'll tell you what you can do you want to get some engineering degrees and go to africa if you feel the need to go there and, and put those degrees to work don't go to africa just to check the people out and thinking you're going to be an African and all that kind of stuff, you want to go there to help them, go there, make some money in engineering. But, again, the Asians are securing things, so you got the Chinese there. 
and they're giving you immediate results, the Africans. So, you know how a lot of the, these poor people looking for handouts are, they're like, shit, I'll take the man who's, uh, says he's giving it to me over the man who says pay me. East Indians in some parts of Africa, they do a lower level of business. As a matter of fact, that's what you see all over the world. You see the Asians on a higher level than the East Indians, while the East Indians, they concentrate on cornering the market on convenience. You know, so everywhere you turn, you got to see them. While the Asians, they take it to a higher level. You know, like when it comes to construction, Chinese construction, they'll give it to you at a lower price but similar quality in some places sometimes even better quality truth be told so that's where they come in be honest with you would I hire a Chinese company or Indian company to build me a building if I wanted it it would be Chinese I'm gonna be honest with you right now they know how to Put these uh, real life erector sets together. You know what I mean? But the solution, like I said, is get rid of the drugs, get a college degree. At the very least, that's the interim goal that you could do on your own. But here's the problem. Because th this person also said that other groups got their stuff together. And they said this because they listened to me. Because I'm the one who keeps bringing up the East Indian. Who else been bringing up East Indians? Nobody. But now everybody's talking about East Indians now. <laughs> and Asians. I'm the one. Because these other people try to sidestep these people. And they're talking about melanated peoples, people of color. But then when I bring up other melanated peoples like East Indians, then all of a sudden people get quiet because they don't know how to classify them. But some just say, oh, they're not black. But yet, somebody who's half white is supposed to be black. Brainwashing from the white man. That's the education the white man gave you with Freemasonry. But, um, what we need to do, because this person also said these others, they stick together. That's what I say. They all stick together, they bring each other in, they have a network. And that's what I'm trying to build in the end a network. Something. See, black people can have individual success. Tariq Nasheed uh, is an example. And he's also an example of the nigger type who will get money. And that's right, Nasheed. That's what I just said. He's an example of the nigger type. And no, I'm not talking about Nasheed uh, for the person I'm talking about in this uh, video. But I know Nasheed listens. And I'm talking to you. You're an example of the nigger type who will get some money. And then say, well, I'm keeping it all, all to myself. I want to shine. I want everybody looking at me. I want everybody coming to me. Like I said, I rocked with some black people, black married couple. They were rich, owned a lot of property. Buy S-Class Mercedes Benz, pay for it in full. Infinities pay for it in full. New homes, franchise business. What did they do for me? What did they do for their cousin? Nothing. All they ever did was make sure that they kept on showing off the new toys that they bought. They buy us a dinner. What the fuck can we do with a dinner unless we're starving? Well, we weren't starving for a motherfucking dinner. We were starving for one of those... $80,000 a year throwaway jobs that they had that they didn't need. That's what the hell we were starving for. They could have hooked us up, but they didn't because this is how black people think. Even some shit that can enhance our lives and we had the qualifications for, they didn't want to hook it up. Even though the 80000 a year was petty cash to them, but to us, even their blood relative, they didn't want us to have it. <laughs> this is how black people do. Why? My only guess is we will probably live a similar lifestyle. 
at least on the uh, on the surface, obviously not uh, throughout the whole situation. But you know, you can probably you know get that S class if we wanted it at at eighty five eighty thousand a year. Not that I would buy that though, because that's not that's a waste of money to me. But um, they didn't do that. But when they bought a new house, uh, in, uh, in ground pool. 